we're going to ask a little bit about the formation of this uh, unity government. So uh, on November 20, one day after the election, the Sarawak Premier announced that GPS will form a government with Perikatan, PM and GIS. And then a few days later, the situation changed a bit. So uh, we understand that you were part of the negotiation team uh, representing GPS here in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, can, can you uh, perhaps share with Okay, you? Let, let me put the facts right. Number one, uh, when it was formed, yes, uh, GPS, uh, we had a meeting uh, headed by our Premier uh, and we gave our support to Tan Sri Muhyiddin to be the Prime Minister. That was the facts then. But eventually, uh, things crop up in the Semenanjung uh, between Barisan National and they say that uh, they are not with Tan Sri Muhyiddin. There may be some members who have gave, given the support, but as far as uh, the MKT is concerned, there was a meeting and so on, they are not giving the support. So whatever SD given at that particular time is not valid. So I'm not part of the negotiation. There, there were no negotiation then. So what transpired was, uh, Yang Dipertuan Ago, when there's no clarity because of what transpired in the social media or in the uh, media space uh, though they have Tan Sri uh, uh, at that time said that he has 115 to support him via the SD so that was delivered to Istan, Istana but at the same time there also a statement from Barisan National to say that no they are not giving any support to Tan Sri Muhyiddin uh, so by virtue of that, that's why uh, Yang Dipertuan Ago called representative, number one, they called Tan Sri Muhyiddin himself, then they called uh, Dr. Sri Anwar Ibrahim, uh, they called Barisan National, uh, then they called GPS. So I was uh, head of delegation for GPS. There are uh, four of us, Dr. Sri Alex, uh, Richard, uh, and also Aaron. Uh, because there are four component parties. At that time, Tiong was not able to make it. So, four of us. So, what transpired was, uh, we were explained that there's no clarity as far as uh, who is going to be prim uh, Prime Minister in terms of support from the members of Parliament. So, Agong told us, his expression is, the best is if we can form a unity government. Uh, who is going to head? No, no mention about who is going to lead. Uh, either it's Tan Sri Muhyiddin or Anwar Ibrahim and so on. But what he, he said that uh, he wished that we can form a unity government. So he was asking our views. So our stand then was, uh, yes, uh, as far as our support is concerned, SD, we have given it to Tan Sri Muhyiddin. That was the confirmation given to Yang Dipertuan Agong. But whatever decision of the Yang Dipertuan Agong, GPS will respect his decision and we will be in uh, we will be there to support the formation of a unity government for the sake of stability of the country and we cannot prolong a country without any leadership so we will b abide by whatever decision of Yang Dipertuan Agong that was what we uh, we uh, we we pass it on to Yang Dipertuan Agong and he was so relieved say by by virtue of our stand uh, so at least that gave him room uh, to decide uh, what will be best to, uh, for the country. So the rest are history. But the, there's always still talk that perhaps uh, one day after the election, GPS might have been misled or misinformed regarding uh, Perikatan National's numbers. W was that the case? No. So. I believe then there was a call between Tan Sri Muhyiddin and our Premier. So there was a decision that we give support to him. Okay. Mm. Uh, how did you feel when GPS was dragged into the conspiracy of so-called pulling support and you know withdrawing support from the government? Because the withdrawing support? That, yeah, Which, the claim was that... The uh, current government? Huh? The current yeah, government? GPS name was dragged when... Uh, had, uh, when Tan Sri Hadi was making all the claims that mm -hmm. 
it wasn't too long ago that he was making the claims of uh, you know, got discussion with GPS to withdraw support and all that. How did you feel when that came out? No, I, I think there's, uh, there's already a statement made by our Premier. There's nobody from Perikatan International that approached him. As far as GPS is concerned, our focus is to have a strong and stable government. We should focus on uh, agenda of the nation, that is recovery plan as far as economic is concerned. Uh, number two is to focus how we can uh, improve the livelihood of the people. So, we are consistent on that. Was it a condition of GPS in order to be part of the unity government for uh, DAP leadership to apologize? Uh, not really. I think it's good uh, gesture uh, by Anthony Lok, uh, who came and apologized to our pri uh, Premier. Uh, but uh, as I told you, the prime objective of GPS is to form a stable and strong government. Because with the challenges, past challenges, number one, uh, because of the pandemic, number two, political instability, uh, it affects our economic performance. And we can't afford to be uh, playing politics anymore. That's why, uh, as far as our stand is concerned, be it from the opponent side, from the government side, we have to now focus on the nation no longer politics. So, that's our stand. Uh, did it come as a surprise for GPS when it was uh, Anthony Lok and Lim Guan Eng doing it and not uh, Chong Chen Jian? It was a surprise for my father. Mm. <laughs> that you have to ask my Premier. <laughs> because I, I was not involved in that. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, so, but looking ahead, you know, like um, 2026 state elections, uh, are we looking at a possible GPS buy up a pack, election pack with another coalition? Even that no, no, our stand is clear. GPS is GPS. We don't have any pact. Even with Prikatan National, if you recall, we don't have any pact with Prikatan National. We were invited to join Prikatan National, but we never. Because we want to stand as GPS. And we work with anyone who have the same aspiration. That is, number one, to form a strong and stable government. Number two, to focus on nation building, be it on economic, more, more so on the social well-being of the people. Here in Sumananjong, we see uh, Malacca, for example, they move towards more of a unity government set up. So, uh, are you discounting the, this for Sarawak, where uh, GPS will be part of the government in Putrajaya, but Sarawak by Cerita? No. Sarawak is a stable state. Why you have to rock the boat? Uh, during the November elections last year, hmm. Um, Bersatu became, to my knowledge, the third Semenanjung party to win a seat in Sarawak. Um, given that Perikatan is expanding quite rapidly in Semenanjung, uh, does GPS view Perikatan as a, a possible threat in Sarawak? As far as GPS is concerned, we'll work for the people of Sarawak. We'll, whoever uh, Come to Sarawak, we'll treat them as a position. We'll contest against them. So election, GPS will stand in all the seats in Sarawak. Be it Perikatan, be it PKR, be it whoever they are. Do you see this as something that could possibly sour your working relationship with DAP during the 2026 state elections? 2026? No, as far as, as Sarawak is concerned, for Semenanjung, what our stand is clear. We want to form a government because this is the what is being inspired by Yandip Tuan Agong to have a unity government. Why you need to have a unity government? Because the parties in Semenanjung cannot be united. They are quarreling among each other and so on. So no single party can form a government. 
So we have to decide then. And the decision is uh, based on whatever decision by the Yang Pertuan Agong will support. So now we support the current government uh, because this is a coalition government. Uh, it is not a unity government, so called, but uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but rather, it is uh, a coalition government comprising of all the parties that who has agreed to form a unity government. Uh, so now we're working quite well uh, with all though we have been fighting or quarrelling all these years in terms of politics and so on. But now we're working quite well. Uh, we understand each other better now. Uh, but of course, when it comes to Sarawak, it has always our, our policy that we want uh, Sarawak is best managed by Sarawakian, by Sarawak-based uh, Sarawak party. So that's our stand. And whoever wants to contest, then they have to go against us. So I, I believe that Tok Sri Anwar, Anthony Lok, uh, Mat Sabu, will appreciate what we have done in terms of giving support to Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim to be the Prime Minister of which they'll be part of the government. So if they appreciate that, then they, I believe they will also respect GPS when come to state election.